Okay, so every now and again there comes across my way a story and you just can't help but tell it. In South Florida, green iguanas spread into suburban scourge. Got like that, right kids? Sunny Isles Beach, Florida, perched in trees and scampering down sidewalks, green iguanas have become so commonplace South Florida that they've seen as no longer exotic invaders but as reptilian squirrels. Native to Central and South America, green iguanas that escaped were dumped as pets and have been breeding in the Miami suburbs in peace for the last decade without making headlines like other precarious invasive pets such as Burmese pythons and black and white lizards. They have been considered most, mostly harmless because they eat plants instead of native animals, but their burrows undermine sea walls, sidewalks, and levees, and they eat their way through valuable landscaping as well as native plants. Their droppings can be a significant problem with the potential source of salmonella bacteria, which causes food poisoning. Yay, food poisoning. Okay. Now there's a trapper, Brian Wood, who's easily caught three iguanas in the recent afternoon, easily roughly three feet long and basking in a condominium seawall. And then there's this other bloke who actually has, and I'm, I'm not making this up kids, it's not the description, he has a iguana pest control business. So if you're moving, to Florida and you're looking to start a new business, may I suggest getting a grant to grab you some iguanas. So yay, iguanas. And so rich are they that they're even making the news here on our locals to make sure that we understand the difference between a python and an iguana. Uh, huh. And so, yeah, news footage actually has shown some that have been trapped, and you can usually trap one about an average of every 12 minutes. And some have made their way into state parks and are threatening the vegetation and insect populations, such as the butterflies, in several different state parks. And so, yeah, this is newsworthy stuff. Yeah, I've made no bones about the fact that I have a feeling well, but every once in a while a story comes across my way, and I'm just like, yeah, I gotta bring some awareness to this. So, here, leisure, leisure, leisure. Please stay out of my flower bed, leisure, leisure, leisure. Yeah, so I'm gonna freak out over the whole lizard type of thing with kids. And they are actually, yeah, they're damaging. Uh, local foliage, flora, and fauna in our lovely southern Florida area. Aren't we cute? Yes, and I love this. There are even some restaurants that are now serving iguana meat. I, for one, am just, much like drugs, saying no. You're a trespasser. Oh, you see, come on, I only told you about the tape so I could get a good signal. Because I need you. You know that my whole country 